The next law is called Charles law that's also called volume temperature relationship and it states that the volume of a given amount of a gas is directly proportional to its temperature at constant pressure. So, V is directly proportional to T at constant pressure. See, it was observed by Charles that volume of a given amount of a gas at any temperature is equal to the sum of the volume of what, what, what it was having at 0 degree Celsius along with the, the increase in the volume by increase in the whatever the uh, degrees of the temperature. Like it will be written in this case, it will be 1 by 273 times of the T and it will be what we will do is this is V naught into T. That's better way of writing it down the same thing. So what does it mean is that it was observed that with every degree Celsius rise or lowering of the temperature, 1 by 273 times of the volume of a gas which it is having at 0 degree Celsius the volume of the gas increases or decreases. I am repeating again, volume of a gas increases or decreases by 1 by 273 times of its volume what it was having at 0 degree Celsius with every degree Celsius increase or decrease in the temperature. So, volume of a gas at any temperature Vd will be equal to what it was having at, at 0 degree Celsius plus whatever the increase has taken place by what T temperature. So, it is like this and from this formula V easily derives the relationship V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2 because we, if we bring this T here, I can make out from here, V upon T will be your constant. So always remember whenever the gas state changes from first stage to the second stage to the and so on, the V by T ratio will remain the same and therefore V1 over T1 is will be equal to V2 over T2. See this is the uh, relationship or this is the law which has, which has given us a very clear cut idea that the degree Celsius scale which we normally use in our day to day life is not correct. I can draw a graph for this. Now, in, since in the study of these, uh, 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 this gas law, we keep the pressure constant, these graphs or the study is called iso bar. Iso means constant, bar means the pressure. Now, if we plot a graph between volume and temperature, and if suppose as the law says volume and temperature directly proportional the line must have gone to, must pass through the origin. No, it is not like this because if we are taking anything in degree Celsius it means when the temperature becomes 0 degree Celsius the volume will also become 0, everything will disappear, it does not happen like this. So, this is not correct, what is correct is well, actually what happens is the graph comes out like this and by extra plotting it, yes it decreases of course and it intercepts at some point uh, on uh, y axis and if we extra plot this we can find out where it intercepts the x axis and from here we can find out if we go by from the number line system on this x axis what we find is this temperature is minus 273.15 degrees Celsius which is called absolute temperature or we call it 0 Kelvin because See, we say that this is the temperature from where the, our, our actual calculation starts. Our, our, uh, this is the temperature where, uh, from where our actual temperature scale must start because that is the point where the volume of all the substances also becomes 0. So, that is how our system starts here and that is why already at 0 degree Celsius we have reached to the 273.15 Kelvin stage and that is why whenever we changes the temperature degree Celsius scale to Kelvin scale, we add this value to that, uh, that, that number so that it, it gets changed into the Calvin scale. So, this is how we do this.